so you get a tech transmitter. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not, because with the look of it, that is a limited tech transmitter. That may be a bug. Welcome to Game with the Scottish Jacks, and I'm the Dance, and we're back with another arc. <laughs> Survival Evolved. Guys, today we're looking at the tech striders now. There is four different variations in this respect that there's four different types of bodies and four different types of heads. Now, there's five here because they're random and you can get any head with any body. Now, I've got all of them here, so we're going to go with this one first. This guy has the tech shoot, the, the shield a projector, which projects a shield in front. So, you use C, done. So you see, and that's his body attachment, it projects a shield in front, which holds, uh, I believe it has a durability, and once that run, either you either turn it off, or it needs a durability. But to turn it off, I think it just actually runs out. But guys, the next thing is this. It has these on its head, which is the scanner rig, the radar rig, which is freaking just glorious. I mean, look at this. You can change it depending on what you want to do. So if you come on here and you hold right and you push and you hold right click, sorry, you can change it to only dinos, only humans, or both. Like I have it to that, and then you can tap right click once it's rescanned it and it'll do one of the beams out and it'll scan all dinos in the area and highlight them. That is just glorious. For taming, that is gonna be awesome. Absolutely awesome. They also have their basic attack, which is just the stomp, which is fair. But there we go. Scan it. Once it's recharged, boom. Nice. Look, Dimetrodon. There is Megaloceros somewhere. Where's that Megaloceros? Can't see the Megaloceros. Where is it? It must be somewhere. And there's a Dillo and a Dimetrodon. Which is nice. There's a Dimetrodon right there. Beautiful. Uh, also, guys, these things work as a tech transmitter so you can turn it on and look at this hold for more options access inventory you can upload your survivor and transfer to other maps on these which is glorious they also act as a bed which is just amazing you can also pick up the transmitter so you get a tech transmitter i'm not sure if that's a bug or not because by the look of it That is unlimited tech transmitters. That may be a bug. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a thing. But anyway, next one. We have this guy. Now, he's got the pulse cannon rig. And he will shoot. With a right click, he should shoot. Oh, no, it's not. It's a silence cannon. I apologize. That's a silence cannon. I have no idea what it does. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what it does but this guy is the shield generator so he does a shield all the way around which is pretty sweet see it go see it stop this guy has the shield generator as well but he has a different head he has the pulse cannon head i believe so uh the right click in this case that's not even the pulse cannon head is it it's not this is the excavation head so if you find stuff when you're excavating it just shoots out and gathers absolutely everything it tags berries and everything you name it it's awesome multi beams if it gets hit it's getting picked up which is just glorious next next up is this guy this guy's got two different things one on the side is his bags which is awesome so you can go into the guy's inventory what you can access them and enable resource collection from nearby mining drills, right? And you can get me to follow you. And if you've got your mining drill, everything you mine gets pulled from your inventory and put in his. I mean, that is just epic. <laughs> that is amazing. You could totally... It's just going to be amazing for gathering. You just go nuts. 
You need to watch, if you do get out of range, he will not pick it up and you'll get un overburdened and then you won't be able to... You can't pick it from your inventory, it has to be from the mining drill. But that is awesome. It also has... The proton cannon head. How cool is that? Look! And it just takes a little bit of charge. All these guys are charged up with as well is the... It's the charge battery. You just put a charge battery in and it holds a charge and then you can transfer consume charge from the batteries and it charges him up. Which is awesome. Now the last guy is over here. Okay, guys, and this is the last one. He's overburdened because I've been gathering loads of crap with him. He's overburdened. He has the, the resource gun as well. And there we go. Resource gun. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, but he also has a cannon body part. So C does a major proton cannon boom. And it's absolutely pretty epic. It is pretty damn Look at that. Look at all the gathering you can do. I mean, it is just glorious. And then anything comes near, just boom it with a proton. It's awesome. If you could get the cannon dude with with the top dude, with the, the proton gun dude on the head, oh, he'd be awesome. He would be awesome. But that's it, guys. It's pure luck, I believe, which one spawns with which. But if you could get the good right combinations, I mean, I imagine the scan one with the... With the the scan one with the full shield would be good for taming. You could tame it, keep inside the shield. That'd be pretty cool. The front, the actual the front uh, shield might be good for the proton because you can shoot things and they couldn't get to you. It, there's, there's lots of different possibilities, but the scavenging ones with the bag and that, that would be awesome. But anyway guys, that's been the Striders. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, remember to hug your least, scalp that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Spread the word to your friends. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>